but I really do feel bad for the office because I have like filled it up today. So just some things come with teaching in a Title I high poverty school that um, are very heartbreaking. It really hurts your heart as a teacher when they're not going to be in your classroom anymore. So I have a lot of grading to do today. Um, as you can see, this first one here is my kids at definitions, vocabulary for social studies. We're going over the Midwest right now and they'll have a test on that on Friday. And then over here are their class notes that I had them take um, over our space unit. And then we're going over text structures. So this is one of the chronological order worksheets that we did. I got it from Teachers Pay Teachers and I'll link it in the description. Here's another one. This is from the same seller. I love these because they have these graphic organizers and that really helps fourth graders to kind of map out order. And then another text structure we went over was problem and solution. And so same seller again, I just loved these products. I think that um, my kids really liked them too. They found them really fun. Sorry about that. <laughs> and you can see on the back, there's um, another graphic organizer and it just really worked well for my kids. I definitely recommend this for fourth grade text structures if that's something that you're going over now or maybe in the future. And I'll link it in the description box. I just thought I would give you a quick update while I am <clears throat> on my way to grab some lunch. Um, it is Tuesday and today has been like, the, like insane. Like my room is like, welcome to the circus. <laughs> I don't know what these kids, I don't know what's gotten into them, but I have written five behavior documents today, which are like how, like we write, um, they're like little discipline slips that kids take to the office and or they can just take them home and get them signed by their parent. But if the teacher feels it's appropriate that they go to the office then they take it to the office um, and then the principal deals with whatever discipline she feels necessary. So it has been a day full of kids crying, kids yelling, uh, and mainly me just standing with my arms crossed and like staring at them and like just mentally thinking, what? is wrong with you today. Um, it's one of those days that I'm just having to laugh at it because it's, I mean, I can't change it and they are just kids. So I'm not gonna let it stress me out, but I really do feel bad for the office because I have like filled it up today. So anyway, that's my Tuesday. Hope yours is better than mine. I'll try to catch up with you uh, later on today, probably after school. Hey guys, so I'm finally leaving school and as you can tell it is basically dark. It's 525 and for me that is really late to leave school um, because I really like to get out usually like early enough to still have some of my evening left so that I can grade and plan more for the next day and just kind of spend some time with my husband. Um, but my kids were... <laughs> I mean, I, I told you earlier how, how bad the day was, but, and I was, at the time, I was just in a really bad mood because I just had to get on, like, up, like, onto, like, a bunch of kids. Um, not a bunch, just a few, but my class is one of those things where it's, like, I have 28 kids, which is a lot, 
Um, really, it's too many, but that's the maximum that we are allowed um, by law. So we have to, I guess, abide by that. But I've got 28 huge desks in there um, that are like on the floor for flexible seating and they're like 20 years old. I don't really know if they're that old, but they're, they seem really old. And um, <clears throat> it's just a lot of kids cluttered together. And the truth is, is that I don't really have a bunch of just like really bad behaving kids. It's more like I just have a lot of kids. <laughs> I decided to change things up a bit um, after all the kids left to kind of reward my kids who are pretty well behaved all the time, pretty much the majority of my class. Um, and I switched out their desks for some group tables. And so they'll be able to collaborate better. Um, group projects will be a lot easier. Um, <clears throat> and it just gave our room a whole lot more space. So I kind of just changed the dynamic of the room a bit to kind of have a fresh, fresh start in the morning. Um, and I am letting some of my really well-behaved kids like sit by their friends and just kind of rewarding them maybe to help motivate the other ones to work a little bit on their behavior. I've really been trying to motivate them lately. I've really been trying to like to show them videos like Ellen videos of kids who, you know, get into really good colleges and um, who are really successful and who put in a lot of effort. And I've been showing them like, um, I've been reading them stories of really like of, of kids who dreamed big and then ended up being successful in the future because I want them to really believe in themselves. And I think that that's a lot of our problem in my classroom is I think a lot of our behavior stems from the fact that a lot of my kids don't believe that they can be good. I think that a lot of them just like automatically assume that, that they are a troublemaker, so they just act in that way. And so I'm trying to help them realize their potential and help them realize that, you know, the possibilities are endless, but I need them to put in their best effort and control their behavior so that I can <clears throat> teach them and help them to be successful and so that they can, you know, be successful. It's all about them respecting themselves and respecting their, uh, their classmates. And that's just kind of where we're at right now. But other than that, my day, my, the majority of my class was really good. And we had a really great time going over our, um, space unit. We're loving that right now. Um, anyway, looking forward to tomorrow. So I will, I may vlog later on tonight, but I don't know. I may just like chill out. So see my husband for a bit. Um, I haven't seen him much lately. And then I'll catch up with you later. Okay, so check this out. My cat is about to do a trick to get his treats. I'm really proud of him. So yeah, he's basically the best cat ever. Hey, hey, <laughs> do you want some treats? You want some treats? Come on. You have some treats? My camera can't even focus because you won't be still. <laughs> you have some treats? Okay, here we go. You have some treats? Can I get your spot? Good boy. Look here. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? It's got his treats. Good boy. <laughs> He's the weirdest cat ever. <laughs> Smartest cat in the world. He's looking for more. I feel bad now. Okay, here. You want some more? Here. Get a few more. There you go. Watch this <laughs> Good morning, YouTube. It is Wednesday morning. Um... Hoping that today is going to be a better day than yesterday. I also looked at the footage from yesterday um, that was taken in my car. And it is like super shaky. So I'm going to have to get a new dock. Uh, or I don't even know if that's what you call it. But for my camera in my car. Because that was not like at all the quality that I 
Gwent, which I'm, I'm a, pro a professional photographer and videographer, so I'm kind of picky. Um, so yeah, you're seeing me without my makeup because you're seeing what I do every morning now. I put my makeup on in the car. Um, like this is my fast school makeup, nowhere near my like actual, uh, makeup routine if I were to be like going out or something. Um, I just really quickly while I'm wearing my Chick-fil-A, put my makeup on. So yes, I just ordered like a crap ton of food because I'm starving this morning because I fell asleep before dinner last night. <laughs> like I just didn't eat dinner. I was so tired last night after yesterday that like I just couldn't, I could not, I didn't, I wasn't even like, like sleep took priority. So, um, anyway, I am trying to get to work not way too late today. I'm definitely not going to be as early as what I want to be, but I'm trying to get there in time to show you what I did with my kids' desks. They are so unbelievably messy. No matter how many times we clean our desks, a lot of my kids just like stuff things in those compartments and they will leave them in there forever. Like like a lot of paper, of course, a lot of cut up paper, but like food even I found, and that's just gross. So, and we, we work, or I work in a very old school and everybody that works in the school knows that like critters are around and I don't want those in my room. So I just like gutted all of my kids' desks yesterday. So my room looks like a hot mess and I took desks out and they're in the hallway right now, put tables in and, um, I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with all my kids' things now. Um, I'll catch up with you whenever I get to school and I'm putting on the rest of my makeup. Anyone else find it hard to put your bottom mascara on while talking? <laughs> it's really awkward. Car makeup. I think that's about it. That's all I got today. That's all that I have energy for today. All right. Wish me luck in there, guys. I'm going in. <laughs> Okay, so I warned you, it really is a hot mess, but <laughs> this is, um, these are the desks I was talking about, like see these compartments? This one's clean, but a lot of my kids would like stuff, like just random stuff in there, and I hated it. So I have, <laughs> for, for, for our flexible seating, we do have floor seats. We have a group here and then a small group here. And then I have regular desks over here. Um, I have a wobble chair. I also have two more of those wobble chairs right here and we draw in the mornings to see who will get to get those just to keep it fair for the day. Um, I do have more of these coming in. This is my flexible seating is a work in progress. Like I still have yoga balls coming in. I like the exercise balls. I still have yoga mats coming in. I still have more of these stools coming in. So we're working on it. And then in the back, I've got these tables. So I basically, um, and this, and the things sitting on the tables are their things that I took out of their desks and they're going to have to clean, clean their desk or clean that out. Um, the red chair there is just in place until I get another blue chair because I didn't want to go to the, uh, little storage room and get one yesterday. And then I have this table over here, which again, that's a kid's stuff, but, um, we may leave these two chairs here just because they're cute and the kids love them. Um, and then, again, chairs that are just there until I get more blue chairs today. So, unless the kids want to sit in those, I don't really care. So, that's kind of what we have going on now. Um, we will see how this goes. Hopefully, this works because I really don't want to change it again. <laughs> oh, also, I was telling you it was a hot mess. That's because, look at this. This is all of their stuff that came out of their desks. Isn't that gross? Like I cannot, I can't, I can't deal with that. So this morning will be spent first thing cleaning out every single one of these so that they can have a fresh start at their desk and at their tables because this is just ridiculous. And then my floor kids, they actually have these little mats that they uh, can pick up every morning and they can sit on those. So yeah, it's a mess right now. I don't judge it. As soon as the classroom is like in order again and clean and like functional, I will do some sort of classroom tour for you. So, alrighty. Crazy kids are about to come in. Oh, look at that broken lamp back there. That's nice. Hey guys, midday update. Um, I ran out to grab some lunch from Walgreens. Um, today hasn't been way too bad. I had to send out one kid 
um, to go to another teacher's class just because she was just being um, very hard to deal with and she wouldn't stop talking in the middle of my math lesson. But other than that, um, we had a good lesson. Um, we actually hit decimals today, um, again, just as a good review before we start on our uh, money manipulatives. Um, and then we played a game. Since they've been pretty good today, um, I went out and bought some Smarties for them, and they love Smarties. So I'm thinking during our science lesson this afternoon, um, the kids that are just being really good and really quiet and listening and are engaged and you know are answering questions and asking questions and just being the way that they're supposed to be, I'm going to like toss them a Smartie, and I think that will really get them uh, engaged. They love Smarty days. I tell them they're all Smarties because they are. But today has been a much better day. Um, the new seating arrangement is working well. I still have a lot of issues with kids just wandering around the room. Um, but I'm working on that. I'm just trying to remember that they do need movement. Um, you know, and that's just part of being nine years old. So, okay. So some things I got today um, were these new rugs. How cute are they? They didn't have a big one. So I just got two and I'm going to um, attach them and then uh, put some of that I don't know what it's called, but that spray stuff on it that keeps them from getting dirty. I think these are adorable. And then I got all of the yoga balls blown up. Um, there are three pinks and three of the blues. And I'm not really sure exactly how I'm going to use these or where I'm going to put them at yet. But um, that's what I'm going to plan out tonight. And I'm about to go home to make some crate seats. Good morning, YouTube. It is Thursday morning. It's about time for me to go pick up my kids, so I can't do it too much this morning in the way of vlogging, but I just wanted to tell you that I did not get those crate seats made. I went home and I, I did get like all the materials for them, but I was just so tired. I'm gonna go get those kids now. Okay, quick lunch update. It has been an insane day and I will tell you more about that later when I get back to school because I am at lunch with my team teacher. Hello. <laughs> she teaches fourth grade with me. And uh, anyway, we're at lunch at US Pizza, so we are going to enjoy that, and I will update you on the craziness later on. <sighs> okay, so long story short, I'm sure that you can already tell that I am exhausted. I'm like already in my like t-shirt and pajama pants, literally. <laughs> and I am just like so tired. Today was better this morning. My kids were really great with their flexible seating, but um, uh, some of the, just some things come with teaching in a Title I high poverty school that um, are very heartbreaking. And I learned a lot today about some of my students that um, just makes me realize the importance of showing them love and just um, being there for them at all times and it reminded me of the importance of what I do every single day and how blessed I am to have had the childhood that I had um, so in addition to that though I did get some really bad reports from my afternoon sub that I had because I had to go to a parent meeting and I had another teacher from our school sub my class and his report was way less than positive um, apparently more than half my class was just like off the rocker and um, I had to do a whole lot of parent calls after and I hate doing that but got to get my class in check got to keep them accountable so that's pretty much it for today I am not gonna get those crate seats done this week it's just not gonna happen uh, so yeah time to give Fitz his treats Oh, and also just because I'm like super excited thought I would let you know that I got a new vlogging camera and I can't wait to really start using it I have the Canon um, a G7X Mark II and as far as I can tell it's totally worth it and super lightweight and gonna be great for my vlog let's go give Fitz his treats hey Fitz hey you want some treats you want some treats hey 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 you want some treats Come on, you want them? Come here, you gotta do your trick. Do your trick. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy, there you go. Good boy. Say yummy, yummy. Fitz got his treats. What'd you think, Fitz? Are they good? <laughs>
Hi. Sweet boy, say I'm a good kitty. Who's a good kitty? Say I'm a good kitty. This is what teacher exhaustion actually looks like. Actually, like in real life, this is what it looks like. Yep. Tomorrow's Friday. <sighs> so, other schools are closed today, but guess who's not? <laughs> Us. We didn't get lucky enough to be out for our snow day, so unfortunately, this is life today. my window my door is frozen literally <laughs> okay let's see I have to put a little more into it <laughs> oh god you've got to be kidding me my husband is literally having to get up to come get my dark my door unstuck <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> I legitimately just had to well my husband had to open the passenger side door it's the only one in my car that would open and I legitimately just had to climb through my passenger side door into the driver's side to get in my vehicle so I am officially on my way to school and I planned on being early to clean up and get everything ready for the day but yeah that plan failed so happy Friday Hey guys, just a quick mid-morning update. It's just about the end of my prep hour. Um, we um, have had a really good morning so far. My kids have been great. Um, the principal did have to come in and address a few of the behavior issues that we've had for the week, but my kids were really receptive and very positive about it. Um, we have talked about a field trip uh, as an incentive to get um, them to be motivated to behave um, more, in a more positive manner and um, they're really excited about that. So we'll see how that goes and I will detail that to you. Let me show you the actual um, list or like the requirements for it. So trip, they have to have no more than two negative dojo points. No office visits, no behavior documents, no disrespect, which is just like all encompassing. And then line up correctly every time because that is something that my class struggles with constantly is lining up the right way every single time. So on a different note, I am like absolutely adoring this new camera. Like it is wonderful. I can't stop looking at the flip screen at the top. So sorry about that, but it is just great. So if you are a vlogger and you're looking for a good camera, try out the Canon, um, G seven X Mark two. It's just, I mean, it's been way better than my iPhone and really lightweight and way less like camera shake and just going to be a great, great vlogging camera, I think. So Let's see how the rest of the day goes. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling positive. We are going to watch a video for social studies. Um, so we're going over the Midwest. Then we are going to do some reading on New ZLA. My kids like that. And then after the after lunch and after recess, we are going to do some science. And we're going to review for our test that now has been pushed to Monday because of a an unexpected parent meeting that I had yesterday. So anyway, good day so far. I'm happy to say that. And... I will catch up with you later. <sighs> Just going to be honest, um, the last time I updated you, I was in a really good mood, and I'm still in a good mood, but just sometimes you just get really attached. Well, I get attached to all of my students, but some students really just leave a, a very big impact on you and bring you extra joy every single day, and um, it really hurts your heart as a teacher when they're not going to be in your classroom anymore and so anyway I just got news that one of my sweet little students won't be coming back and if this shows you how much teachers care then let this be that because <laughs> this is how it feels when you lose one of your best 
so this is really how it feels when you lose any of them because you know that you can't be there for them anymore <laughs> but um this student will go on to succeed in everything that that this student does um so kind so well behaved and such a positive influence on others and a wonderful family and just yeah so that's how the day has turned around <laughs> all of my class was crying like all the kids were real upset um nobody wants to lose this kid hey youtube so it is officially friday like afternoon i am out of school thank god but at the same time today was a really good day my kids were great um we did have that one little moment where we were all sad because of the student that we lost today to another school but um i think that we will be okay um it might be a little bit tough on all of us for a couple of weeks because we really really loved this student all of us did all of my kids did and i did too of course um just one of those students that you just don't forget and um but anyway aside from all that um thank goodness i'm so excited about this three-day weekend jared and i are going to go to oak lawn racetrack and watch the horse races because it's opening weekend and we're going to stay uh we're going to stay there on saturday night tomorrow night oh he's calling me now sorry about that so we had a good day we had a good science review we had a really good friday so with that being said, I think that I'm about to end this vlog here and enjoy my weekend. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. I am very appreciative of all the views and all of my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so by clicking the button in this corner here uh, so you won't miss out on any of my new videos. And if you'll visit my channel and click the little notification bell, I think it's on the upper right corner when you visit it, then you will be notified every single time I post a new video. And uh, until the next one, see you then.